Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's summer in Alaska. So you're probably wondering what this video is uh, all about with the snow all around us. Well, we are filming this as of April 27th, 2022. And then we're going to come back here in the summer and use these two logs to build a bridge over a creek. Uh, Joe and I hike around the lake every summer on our guided tours. And uh, we get a lot of people soaking their foot when they fall in the creek, so we thought we'd build a bridge. So let's get on with the summer footage and get this bridge built. All right, we have a fun project today planned, and the outfit matches that. Boots because we're gonna be working in a creek. Shorts because it's a hot day. Gloves because we're dealing with logs and rough cut lumber. And the hat, well, the hat just looks good. All right, Denali is out, but it's a little hazy, a little bit of forest fire smoke. But here we are, tundra's turning green, slowly but surely. And like Joe said, we've got a project. Um, what we have wanted to do for a couple of years is put a little rough bridge across the outlet of the lake. We get guests at the lodge every year that come out for guided day tours last thing you want is to fly out in a float plane to an amazing place, go on a hike, go bear viewing, and then soak your boot, soak your whole leg and your socks in the creek if you happen to slip off of a rock. So we're going to try and remedy that here today. It's been a long time coming. Alright, Joe packed the tools and the rough cut boards we're going to use to make the steps. And we got to get going with this soon because helicopters, yeah, helicopters coming in probably less than an hour. Alright, so every step is going to be two feet. going to stay really raw and, and basic like this, but it's going to help keep people's feet dry, so hopefully it works out good. We got Emma, Chloe, um, watching. There's Emma right there, Chloe, and my dad. I think you're wearing perfect uh, bridge building apparel. I felt like I was. Yeah, I think you nailed it. No, I've never been one for high fashion, but when it comes to stuff like this, I'm on the ball. <laughs> that it? That's it. Woo! All right, Eileen. Maiden Trek. The Maiden Trek by our fair maiden. Like an American Ninja Warrior course. Yeah, except a lot easier. The salmon ladder. Woo! I, that was actually really cool. Was it? <clears throat> excuse me. Was it super easy? Yeah. Were the steps too far apart? No. No. Good. Cool. Don't step on the boot. Chloe said, "No, that's jump." There we go. You did good, Miss Pineapple Girl. All right, so it's not very easy on the eyes. Joe and I want to keep it rough on purpose. It'll probably rot in five or 10 years and we'll just like throw new logs under it or whatever, but it's going to be a game changer. We've had a lot of experiences where people don't want to hold our hand. They want to try to cross the creek themselves. And uh, Joe and I wear uh, waterproof hiking boots. We just, we just get in deep. 
and hold people's hand as they cross if they want to. But uh, it seems like every once in a while someone's like, no, no, I want to try it myself. Kerplunk. And uh, so that's how it goes. So people can still cross the creek anywhere they want. They can still try their hand at those rocks down the way. But, uh, you know, older ladies, people with sandals, whatever. Um, now they have another option. And they can go back to Talkeetna the same night with dry shoes. So there you go. Yeah. Very cool. I want to grab Uncle Joe's gloves for him. Sure. All right, guys, let's let's head home. Let's head home. Get ready for the helicopter. Here comes Danielle. And the kids always get so excited. and float plane pilots are the only people we see for months is the uh, first person besides immediate family that we've seen for two months now the girls want to watch Danielle take off from up on the roof All right, we got a little family outing planned. Joe and I need to test the new dock. So we're all heading down to step on it. We'll see how it goes. Bo is excited. Are you excited? Mm. Yeah, can you say Bo Bo? Working our way. All the snow's melted off the rocks. Just happened yesterday. Go. Because it ain't getting any closer. Hand me bow. Go and get on, babe. Go ahead and get on, Emma. No. I'm nervous for all of you. I don't want to fall. Oh, I'll get on the same spot. I'm standing on. I'm standing on. Ah! Okay, I'll stand on this edge. Babe, I'm coming over to there. Uh, this edge. Uh, ah! Okay. Do you want me to hold it? Do you want me to hey, hold it? Hey, 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 film us. <laughs> Joe, watch, watch the rope, kid. You'll get lassoed. There we go. Oh, get close. Oh, that's good. So I can it sink the edge really if I get well. close. See, I can sink the edge. I don't think you want to do that, though. I can sink the edge. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So we got four grown adults. So we should probably get four more barrels. No. We should probably get four more barrels. It's gonna be kind of a bummer getting those on the plane. Kinda why I wanted not to get on. Fine. We had to run that test before guests arrive. We know that like two or three people could be on the dock at once, but we still want to get some more barrels and get that thing up out of the water a little more. That was kind of scary. Got a lot of crazy random last minute projects going on before the summer season starts. We're just going to check in with Alyssa and Bonnie and Joe. 
All right, swooping around over here. Alyssa was not happy with the way the outhouses were looking, so she is repainting them. Let's take a closer look. So it used to be blue, the color of what, our bedroom? What do we do? The bedroom and the living room. And then the candles that we burn in here just kept leaving like soot residue on the walls. And you can see where the little candle trays sit right there. And uh, so now we're painting it that latte color. Looking good, babe. Peek inside the power shed here. I'll show you the box that Joe built for battery protection. Come in here, there's our power unit and charge controller. And then down below it, get some light in here. There you go. Some protection in case anything falls on the batteries. Definitely don't want anything to arc, touch a negative and a positive. You don't want to get hurt. And uh, so it's good to protect those. And then he's going to create a little bit of a vent for the off gassing that happens. We'll swoop around over here and see what Bonnie's up to. Bonnie has been busy in the garden like for two weeks straight. Hi. Hi. We got, um, oh, there we go. It's not blurry anymore. We got actual, like, what do you call those blossoms on the zucchini? We got Joe's broccoli and then the zucchini, but we haven't planted uh, tomatoes yet, right? We okay. have a bunch of pots, but we still have some that will go in the ground. Joe's going to get some more tomato cages in town. It looks like we got flowers, too. Yeah, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. The strawberries, unfortunately, are not looking too hot this year. They might have frosted this last winter. Hey, kiddos. What did you say? Can I have yeah, you can have a few. Yeah. Emma, it's 80 degrees out here. Why do you want to wear a jacket? Did the ice lemonade make you cold? <laughs> that makes sense. I have, a I have a stomach ache. Oh, hopefully those fishy crackers take away your stomach ache. All right. See you, kiddos. Bye. All right, so Joe asked me to come down to his cabin to help him with a project. We use the word project a lot. This is more of a situation. Um... Oh, good old Howie passed away, and I guess uh, Porcupine heard that there was vacancy in his cabin. So, Joe, there's Porcupine in here. Is that what you claim? <laughs> oh, man, you can see him. All right. So we need to flip and let him crawl out. Yep. Is he going to bite me? Ready? Hang on. I thought I heard him move. We just throw in? Mm hmm One, two, three. Boy, his hair is all standing up. Ready? Yeah. He's holding on for dear life. He's like literally holding on for dear life. Oh, now he's trapped because the foam board slid down. Don't reach around. I can see part of him. You come back down, maybe. Oh, once that once that foam board falls out, he'll come. He can come out. <laughs> I feel pretty safe back here. Yeah, you're safe. There he is. What's up, buddy? You can't be here. Never been this close to a porcupine before. Run along. We just got long claws. He's a beast. He's a lot prettier than the ones that are at the Wildlife Conservation Center. Oh, there he Oh, oh, man, he's got long, crazy claws. You almost had him out, and then... There we go. Boy, look at those quills. All right, off he goes. He gone. All right, another day, another group of guests coming in. Some time has lapsed since last we pushed record. Hi, Joe. Hey there. I was trying to stay out of the camera shot and then he- How do you like my new hat? I love How do you it. like it? 
Looks a little OR. Alyssa says it's a doofus hat. So comment below. Hey, it's not a commercial. Uh, comment below if you think it's a doofus hat or if you think it's the coolest hat you've ever seen. It's got to be one of the two. Anyways, um, yeah, Joe and I both got these uh, Gore-Tex rain hats because it's just what we do out here. We hike in the rain and we're sick of rain dripping down our necks. So uh, anyways, Joe is busy. A uh, lot of cloudy skies lately, so he's trying to get the generator hooked up into the like override the solar system so we can still do laundry on cloudy days. We could notice the batteries going beep, 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 beep. So not a lot of sun lately, but hopefully it's coming back in the next couple days. Anyways, uh, what you got going? Yeah, pretty much what you said. Uh, Move the generator over here to the power shed. I'm going to be wiring that into uh, the inverter so that we can use that. So the generator will no longer sit over by the house. Um, I think we talked about in one of our previous videos, I made the mistake of buying 10-2 Romex wire. I needed 10-3 uh, for a 240 volt system. And so I bought a 100 foot roll of it. I need about 75 to 80 foot to run from the lodge to the inverter. And hopefully I have enough left over to run from the inverter to the generator. Um, I won't, it's a whole thing. Our generator is only 110, so we're going to have to upgrade that uh, sooner than later. But we can still use it to charge the batteries and run the lodge. Uh, it just won't charge the batteries near as fast as a 240 volt generator. So that's what I've got going today. We're going to try to get going. The ladies need to do some laundry. And like Zach said, no sun, so very little charge on those batteries. That's my project. Right on. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It's not raining. I'll take this off pretty soon. But uh, let's head inside, say hi to Alyssa and Bonnie, and we'll sign off. That's not for me. Everybody decent? Just kidding. That's a weird question to ask in the kitchen. <laughs> nope. All right. So Bonnie and Alyssa, that is, this is where you'll find them, June through September. Cooking away, like I said. Guests coming in today, and they're prepping desserts and dinners. What do you guys got going on? Uh, actually, just feeding them crackers. Feeding, feeding Bo, that's never ending. Uh, uh, everything today was pretty easy. So, um, salad's done, chicken's done, beans are done, Bonnie's doing dessert, and kind of, kind of about it. I think about we it. make bread later but nothing really riveting in here nothing riveting mama says do you want to say bye say thanks for watching like and subscribe there you go i think that'll work all right guys that will do it for this episode like bo said thanks for watching like and subscribe we'll see you again later see ya the Monte Brothers. <laughs> uh, some time has lapsed since last we pushed. pushed blah, blah, blah. Some time has lapsed since. Oh my gosh, that's hard to say.